Hey guys, gals, and non-binary pals, welcome to my stagecraft final. Today we'll be making a marbling effect. This looks wonderful on a stage. It's an interesting choice for a house, and it's just a fun, plain little project to do on a rainy day. So, let's get started. For this project, you'll need a thin-tipped brush or a feather, a thicker brush for blending, a paintbrush to be used for the splattering effect, a painting surface of some sort, today I'm using cardstock, white paint, black paint, water to dilute, and a Dr. Pepper because you know that I'm not this perky without copious amounts of caffeine. Now if you were doing this on, say, a wall or something of that nature, you would of course prime it, but considering I'm using paper, we're going to skip over that step. Okay, our next step is to start mixing our paints. I have some school smart paint here with me because this is what I have in my house. So we're going to put some of that in the water. And then we're going to mix it on up. Mixy, mixy, mixy. Get it nice and mixed. And then we're ready for the next step. So we've got our dark paint ready. Now with this project you want to do veins across the paper, light veins. So we're gonna go make some veins across the page. Some fun little veins across the page. Now, like I said earlier, you can use either a feather or a thin tipped brush. I prefer a thin tipped brush because I think I have more control with my lines. So that's what I like to do. Um, and then what you do is you blend out the darker spots fade it up a little bit with a damp brush obviously not dipping it into our black paint mess that would just cause problems okay so that's the second step okay now our next step is to make a lighter gray color to highlight the veins we just made so I got some more water now we're gonna put some white little bit of black. Now this is just you, there's no real science to this. This is just you looking and saying, yeah that looks about right. And then that looks a little dark. So I'm gonna add some more white. Now this might take you a while, but don't give up hope. You will get the mixture that you are craving. Okay? So that is the third step. Okay, now we're going to go back over our little lines that we've made so far. And we're going to trace them with the light paint we just made. Now you, again, you can use a feather or a light tipped brush. And you just trace on over them. And then you come behind it with your wet brush and you blend it out so it's not so harsh. And you just keep repeating that step till you finish all the lines. Now this, um, this is after I finished highlighting all the lines that we just did with the lighter paint. This is called cartooning. This adds definition and uh, to the overall effect of the paint. Um, so that's why we do that. Now our next step it can get a little messy. Um, it's splattering to just add the final touch to our marbling effect. So what we're going to do is we're going to dip our brush into some black paint. And we're going to take another brush 
and we're going to tap. And we're just going to tap, tap, tap. And we're going to get some white. And that is really up to the eye of the beholder how much splattering you do. I like where we're at now, so I'm going to leave it. And with our final splatters in, we are done. Look at this beautiful effect. Thanks so much for tuning in, and don't forget to give me a good grade, Steve.